If you're looking for locally handmade goods, the Portage Collective has plenty to offer. I took a trip to check out the local business and see what they've got to offer for you. Local makers and small businesses offering goods and workshops in our community. We are joining Kelly from the Portage Collective to learn about the locally made goods and services they offer. Can you tell us more about Portage Collective? Yeah, so the Portage Collective started as a um, means to provide small businesses and their goods to the area. Um, it actually started with myself and Annie Johnson looking for space um, and we decided Decided to add on other businesses to make the space more complete and then evolved into an incubator space. Yeah. So we really try to do what we can for small businesses. Yes. And do you think that it's helping all of the small businesses by coming all together? It's a big step. Yeah. Um, it's really tough to uh, have retail space or even workspace um, mm -hmm. on your own between having to man the place, you know, to have consistent hours yeah. and the cost. Um, so it's definitely seeming to, to bring good things to local businesses. Yeah. So we have um, about eight different makers right now that are members of our um, our little collective. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, some workspace upstairs. Uh, okay. We have um, a couple of therapists up there as well as um, someone with studio space up there. We don't have employees. We um, actually all come together to work a shift to make sure that things happen. All of the um, items on our shelves are locally made or locally sourced there are a few items that are exceptions yeah. <laughs> um, but for the most part you know so we, we basically make the things to stock the store yeah. um, and then we work it um, kind of like a co-op style okay. can you tell us more about the room share and like the retail opportunities that yeah you yeah so we do have a small retail um, opening for uh, a smaller portion of the shop mm -hmm. um, and so that would entail you know a, a bit of a rent fee um, as well as maybe some time working in the space um, and that that could be open to anything that is locally handmade mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, an email that you can uh, send your information to so that way we can consider you yeah. um, for the rooms the work share space upstairs um, we do have some days available throughout the week usually just during open business hours so I believe we have Friday with the bulk of the weekend um, and they can rent the room by the day we do have a featured artist Ellen Brenneman Studios she is one of our members here but then the artwork that that you see up on the um, railings of the uh, wall are mm -hmm. actually um, local students and the proceeds for those pieces of art um, are basically it's donation based and okay. all of those donations go back to the artist camp at Lang Lab. Can you tell us about the upcoming event that you have? Yeah, so yeah. we're actually doing a Taylor Swift inspired event mm -hmm. on January 20th um, during open hours from 10 to 5. We're going to have um, friendship bracelet making. Um, Take Yourself Ben is going to host a hair tinsel um, for a small fee um, so they can like come in and get their hair tinsel, you okay. know, apply it into their hair. Um, and we also are going to have some special themed um, treats and and uh, um, products that they can purchase mm -hmm. uh, a costume contest oh. um, dressing up as Taylor Swift or Travis Kelsey because yeah. that's like the live thing right so um, but it's just gonna be a fun time with uh, pretty much anything, you know, any Swift yeah. you could want, so. What made you do the Taylor Swift? Are you a Taylor Swift fan? I'm or? not a big one. Not I <laughs> like her, but not like, you know, yeah. I'm not obsessed. Uh -huh. um, but I actually take like requests sometimes for like themed things. Okay. And someone was like, you should make a Taylor Swift soap. <laughs> and then someone else, you know, brought in some Taylor Swift themed uh, things. Um, and so we were like, oh, let's do it, you know? Yeah. And so do you get a lot of traffic in here? Like when? We're working on it. Okay. Um, the holiday season, and people really showed up and we appreciate them so much for that um, but we are in our first well this is actually we're just cresting into our second year and so it's one of those things where you know you get that good momentum and you're like all right we've done it yeah. but then you're like but you're only a year old like yeah. people are still learning you exist right. so yeah. yeah the best biggest thing is to you know uh, word of mouth and to, to tell your friends yeah. and things like that yeah we really appreciate the support you know and that we love that you shop local mm -hmm. um, and shop small businesses um, and they can go to a few different options for more information we do have our website theportagecollective.com um, we also have Facebook and 
Instagram and you can find things there and that's where we relay a lot of our information. We do have a subscription list too that they can join um, when they come in to shop with us. Check out the Portage Collective and the Cruel Summer Taylor Swift inspired event happening on January 20th.